Hey, McFly! Stop. Henry VIII. Oh, he's ahead. <laughs> but I'll um I'll stop him from freezing while Disney's head so he can't hassle us. Because that's been happening lately. Oh, this um, scene this I saw this video like right before recording. Where it was like a CCTV footage of Disney World. And there's like a ghost coming from the Haunted Mansion and it like walked over a lake. So I think that's Walt Disney trying to come and get us now. Yeah, I wanna see this <laughs> scary video now. He's on the hunt. It's in a <laughs> Top five list. I will send it to you after recording. <laughs> what um, dead famous figure are we going to PO this recording session? Uh, we recorded. We, we recorded. <laughs> we uh, PO'd Walt Disney, or his severed head at least. We PO Colonel Sanders. I mean, what else? Ronald McDonald. Is he? No, he's still King Henry up. and King George. Yeah, yeah we'll we did that. Back with our <laughs> we Italian insulted the crown. <laughs> so everyone who's ever been in the crown, We've yeah. been crown. about 15 minutes the queen with the speedo the qu speedo. Uh, I think the queen would you know she's a fine boy lady <laughs> yeah, the so queen's weird Union Jack speedos <laughs> so queen, the queen's pretty cool dogs corgis yeah. yeah, if I if I when I move out and get a dog, I'm gonna get a corgi. I didn't know till like <laughs> and then a you're couple weeks get... ago though. The queen liked corgis. I had really? no idea. She loves corgis. I think she's at like seventy six yeah. thousand. Okay, I'm gonna consult the conspiracy web to see who we should bash on next. <laughs> <laughs> conspiracy. Web. Hmm. Who have we got? We've got Ronald McDonald. The Dr. plot Stop. thickens. Big King. Uh, Illuminati, Nicholas Cage. Illuminati confirmed. Uh, I think I did it. I think I transferred everything over from one house to the other. Actually, Except what, I didn't put armor with, on the screen. Picture of your uh, Walt Disney, Colonel Sanders, and Henry V. Which, let's face it, that's the that's the Triforce. That's the power, isn't it? <laughs> the so, we're we're pure free people, which means that's Half Life Three confirmed. If you had to uh, come up with a zombie team. Those are the people you'd want on it. Yep. If you well, had to survive the zombie shit. apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sanders, Walt Disney, and Colonel Sanders. He gets Henry the Eighth. Henry the Eighth would just be the Slayer. It just <laughs> all the heads off. Oh, here it is. Okay, so trapdoor postman. The trapdoor postman. Who is the trapdoor postman? That's <laughs> a good question. Who is the trapdoor postman? It just wears a helmet. It's like the stig off top of you. Okay. You your top. Aren't they getting rid of some guy on top gear? Uh, they're getting rid of Jeremy Clarkson. Man. Uh, which means James May's not doing it as well. So essentially it's the end of top gear. Uh, I just keep thinking that. of that picture I made during the live stream last night. <laughs> that picture, do I want to know this picture? It's Trapdoor Postman. The Trapdoor Postman. I think Top Gear in America is still going on. Uh, is that got the same British cast or is it? No, it's three different dudes. Awesome. They're American. They wear jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine them. <laughs> um... They're American. They wear jeans. Yeah, that's correct. Well, that Jeremy Clarkson wears jeans, but there you go. Uh, well, didn't he's see obviously the... American. Did you see the British um, Argentinian special? What do you mean no. paint has stopped working? Suck. Oh, it <laughs> paint is starting. How does paint Samuel crash? Paint. I have a $600 computer. How does paint crash on it? Well, here's the problem. You're using paint. <laughs> you, There's your first issue. Have we um, angered Bill Gates as well, inadvertently, somehow? Probably. <laughs> paint shall not work, Bill Gates. Don't, don't worry, I got this. I dislike Ooh. Windows 8. Suck it, Bill Gates. <laughs> wow, that was a pretty cool. Oh. There was a creeper in my house. Doing that creeper is the... Is that the trapdoor post, man? Who knows? And now there's only... <laughs> the framing is all that's left on two sides of the house. It's so weird. Oh my god, you are powering through this build of yours. Is this a copy or...? Yeah, I, I copied this one moved it over there. Why is it still standing? Well, <laughs> it turns out... I don't know what I'm doing with the fill command. And... <laughs> <laughs> Just all the crap lifted on the floor. Yeah, all the stuff fell off the walls. Hello, hello. Yeah, I tried to do the fill command with um 
working on the mansion slash brothel slash um, oh, brewery. I know what it's going to be. This is insane. It's everything. It's just going to have a brewery and it's going to have a brothel and it's going to be a mansion. The bro- <laughs> it's got the brothel in That's importance. Brothel manor. Brothel. The, yeah, it's going to be one of those, like, it's going to be like a mansion, but it's going to be one of those, like, those weird, creepy sex mansions. Weird, creepy sex mansions. Just for go and wear masks. Have you ever All seen right. that film? Was it, was that film with Tom Cruise where, is that, no, I'm just not talking about it, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> but, but, I've seen go- the ghost adventures where they go into a brothel. Like that? They went. They went to a brothel and goes. They go in brothels all the time. Do they really? Yeah, they always go in the things. At the first, I, I thought a brothel was like a type of pot. I just watch it for the ghosts. It makes me so angry. <laughs> Hook of ghosts. <laughs> I mean, if you want to, if you want to disprove ghosts right away, all you have to do is compare every single ghost adventurer's ghost hunter's footage, and it's all different, completely different. Every single thing they do is different. That's how you know it's all made up. Yeah. But... You heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, I would love personally to go to like these places at night and just walk around and film stuff. I think that'd be really fun. I think I talked about this last night on the live stream. Yeah, speaking of that... That'd be um, so cool. Yeah, why I wasn't at the first part of the live stream and I was on the thing is because my friends wanted to do exactly that. S man's an amateur ghost hunter. No, I would say I almost crapped my pants. <laughs> With a. See, I would love to actually like go and actually see something on camera. That if I saw something firsthand, I would become a believer right away. Yeah. Like I want to believe in ghosts. It's just so difficult. Well, Walt Disney's gonna be first, so you know. <laughs> yeah, Walt Disney's coming. <laughs> right, I saw the CCTV camera. I mean, he's walking. <laughs> it's gonna take a while. Mutators, he's but... not walking. He's floating. He's, he's walking floating. over the Atlantic no, Ocean. No, I saw the. Uh, yeah, I saw the footage. He's walking. <laughs> he's walking. <laughs> he's just gonna well, get on a boat. He's just gonna like get. A, he's just gonna row a boat across the Atlantic Ocean. Or should he? Or he well, should probably just walk across like Jesus. I said, if you ever steamboat see steamboat Willie, <laughs> steamboat Wally, Walty, steamboat Dong. Have you ever was... seen the Blair Witch Project? Yes, and that was a disappointment. Yes, no, it is not. some overhyped nonsense size. I figured, you know, it was going to be terrifying. And no, it was not terrifying. Someone said that to me like, oh, Blair Witch Project is very scary. I, under- I understand why it was a big deal, though, because they were really like one of the first to do the whole filming from first person horror story thing. So I understand why it was a big deal, but I just thought it was going to be a lot scarier than it was. The first you know, found footage style film I f- watched was Cloverfield. First, Gosh. the first found footage I video thing movie I watched was Paranormal Activity, and that is not scary at all. It's not. It's like so predictable. Yeah. Oh, love yeah. a chandelier. It's, there's like yeah, chandelier. The, the only scary part of that entire movie is spoiler alert at the end where uh, there's that jump scare. Yeah, there was a the, the second one. I think there was a jump scare. No, the first one too. At the very end. Well, there was there was one in particular. I was watching it on TV and I was actually falling asleep during it. <laughs> and next thing you know, like, oh, I know what it was in the kitchen and like all the doors slam open and the pots go flying everywhere oh, and that woke me up. <laughs> have you seen? I was like, Whoa. Have you seen the later ones? I saw the one with the girl. I think that's the third one. And then I saw the one where it was like in Mexico. The yeah. marked ones, that's what the new I like the marked ones because it circled back to the first one, but that's pretty much all I can praise it for. <laughs> uh, one bit similar to marked ones because uh, I like the idea of them playing about with the demon's powers rather than just being possessed completely. Mm. What, what film is it I watched? It was Afflicted. Have you seen that? No. It's where this guy gets um, bit by a vampire. Like mm. a vampire. You just hate it when that happens. Yeah. And then it's really <laughs> cool. Like, it's got a. It finds out that it's got to eat, like. A person every three or four <laughs> days, so far, he just it goes full rage berserker vampire mode and just kills everyone, like rips the throats out and shit. Oh. It's a really good uh, first you person know. style found footage film. I advise Ooh, everyone watch it. I'm a real sucker for the first person. I don't know why. I know like a lot of they get usually get bad scores and stuff, but for some reason, I really like the whole first person thing. Yeah, 
It's the shaky camera thing that gets everyone, I think. Yeah. It, the Very rarely that they get that right. Because half the time it just distorts everything. You're like, oh, I'm mm -hmm. ill. There was a... I just saw another scary movie on Netflix called Mr. Uh, Babadook. That is and a horrifying Trump. name. They, they're British, so you might be able to really connect with them. <laughs> <laughs> <They're British. laughs> it's like, it's... I like pretty much, the ending's kind of iffy. Well, endings are kind of hard to do in horror, I feel, because it's all been done before, and yeah. it's I wasn't a big fan of the dies ending. Or... Yeah, everyone dies or they move. <laughs> yeah, everybody <laughs> dies or they all survive and they move, and then they never talk about getting in. Yeah. But it was actually really good and pretty creepy. But somehow the black guy the dies. The black guys always die. die. Yeah. Every time. So, so the Hollywood stereotypes. So, looping back around to uh, what happened last night. So, basically, they were like, yeah, let's go to some random place that's supposedly haunted. So, we went on to, like, hauntedplaces.org or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and we were, like, looking in the area. And then uh, we found this park. And then we went to the park. And there's just people is. smoking in it. <gasps> Oops! <laughs> you should have just run up to him and, like... Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> I see dead people, man. I see dead, dead people. people. Try so, uh, we were just like, yeah, we're not having any of that. So we looked at another place. So there was this post about apparently a haunted bridge where like people committed suicide like every five hours. Or like ghosts commit suicide. <laughs> wait, wait. I want to die soon. It was so good for first. Yeah. <laughs> it's accelerating. <laughs> No, like, uh, what was the actual story? Um, it was, like, um, one Sunday night, like, in the hours between, uh, 8 p.m. and, uh, 12 midnight, uh, somebody jumped off the bridge, like, every 30 minutes. How rude. Yeah, and then they all died, so there was, like, nine, at least nine deaths there. And the thing is, this isn't like a bridge that goes uh, over like a river or something. It goes over a train track. Mm. Oh, those so are at twelve, that's when the train usually comes by. So it just like brown plowed all over the bodies. <laughs> Good sound effects. Wow, <laughs> 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 plowed all over the bodies. <laughs> I so, yeah, we went there, but we couldn't find it. The bridge has disappeared. <laughs> so, so, like, we were just like, okay, yeah, let's just screw it. So, when I came home, I looked at Google Maps for that area. Turns out that the bridge was right next to it. was, like, literally, like, the turn that we just said screw it on. No, way to go. Oh, like, literally, See? like, the turn, you were on the bridge. Turns out the bridge I could is inside us all. I could actually see the bridge from the area, but I didn't think it was the bridge. I just thought it was like flat place. Uh, I live near, but I live in a city which is right next to a river. So there's this massive bridge which goes across the river. And whenever someone, well, the other day, the half a bridge was closed off because uh, someone was like hanging off the side of a bridge, like I'm gonna commit suicide. So yeah, that happens a lot where I live. It's just like a really high bridge, so it's... There's uh, a lot of sad people where you live. Well, it's Britain, isn't it? <laughs> it's because they're not alive when Henry VIII was around. Oh, yeah, that would do it. <laughs> that would do it. Or it's um, because they're just so tired of hearing about the royal baby and all. I <laughs> <laughs> can't take it anymore! <laughs> just want release. <laughs> Every time I turn on a bloody television, even Sky Sports... See, here's the what? thing. I lack friends to go explore these places. Would you, if this is a true sign of balls, would you go to a asylum that's haunted? No. Yes. I would not do that. I would. I've seen... I would. The only thing I'd be worried about is crazy homeless people. Yeah, that's, wanna... that's my biggest fear, is getting shanked by a crazy homeless person. Do... Other than that, yeah, I'd go. Do you want to know why I don't want to go to an asylum? Because I'm not crazy. <laughs> no, because I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to get uh, tuberculosis. 
tubicular. <laughs> TB. Is that just some? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. As soon as you go through asylum, you're just like, oh, fuck, I've got AIDS now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> In the asylum? Wait, what? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That's why I don't want to go to a mental hospital. <laughs> That's yeah. what you need to watch out for in a mental hospital. What's that film <laughs> where going... What's that film ever going to be silent? Uh, There's so many films like that. Which one? one? About... Is it the one where it's like a parody of Ghost Adventures? Yes, I think so. Uh, Grave Encounters. Yes! On Grave Encounters. That I've movie that was one. pretty good. I, f I, I got a bit freaked out by Grave Encounters. I like the part where like at the beginning they pay, like, they, uh, pay off the guy to say that he saw a ghost. Yeah. yeah. I like you saw a ghost here, it. right? And they're like, "Yes, I saw a big scary ghost." <laughs> and they're just tending the bush <laughs> outside. One thing I remember from from it. is I think is that how everyone would react if shit started happening like, "Oh shit, there is actually ghosts here. What do we do?" The front door yeah. doesn't work anymore. <laughs> like, "Oh, the time stopped." Oh, my watch is not working. Everyone's that's, watching that movie. That's cool. really the part that uh, I did not like about that movie, how the time stopped. Uh, I, I enjoyed it. it was, the, you got I the mean, sense that they couldn't get out, which is... Yeah, great. but that just kind of confused me right there. Is that the one with like the door in the bottom yeah. of the like tunnels? Okay. Yeah, that's that the one where the uh, person too? has like a frontal lobotomy and then it's like, I can go home now. Yeah, yeah. I can go home and have a cup of tea. <laughs>